What's going on? Just checking in here from Bend, Oregon, Central Oregon. Came from the gym. We've been having some crazy, crazy weather. Had some super cold days that actually hit negative, which is rare, like below zero Fahrenheit. That was really cold. Then we had some snow, a lot of snow. And it finally calmed down. Now it's just raining with, um, it's like in the 40s, so not bad at all. But yeah, just uh, gonna do a what I ate in a day video. If you're new to my channel, plant-based for 10 years. Love strength training, intermittent fasting, and I uh, just came from the gym, like I said. I'm gonna talk about my workout real quick here. Just driving home, getting back to work. Right now it's noon and I'm fasted. I like to do my workouts fasted, I recommend that. Usually start eating around 1 p.m., finish by seven, so I like that daily 18 hour fast. Recommend that for long-term health, uh, keeping fit, keeping muscle, losing fat. And my workout is, you know, in the last couple months I changed it up and I really love it. So I'm gonna talk about it a little bit and I'm gonna show you what I ate today to maintain strength, muscle, and actually build strength. I'm continuing to hit PRs in the gym. And my strength training routine, my workout routine is six days a week. I strength train four of the days and two of the days I run. So I strength train on Monday and Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, and I run on Wednesday and Saturday. Sunday's a rest day. So each time I go do my strength training, I only do five sets total, not five sets per move, just five sets. It's a full body workout split into two days. So I, Monday and Tuesday, I hit full body, cut in half, and Thursday and Friday, I repeat the same thing. My full body workout is one set of each move, like I said, super hard, going all out, on my upper body moves, I increase the weight after I hit 15 reps. And on my lower body moves, I keep increasing the weight once I've hit more than 20 reps. So 15 to 20 reps is what I'm going for. And today I'll show you what I did, but I got more PRs. I keep getting hitting PRs with this routine. So I'm gonna keep doing it as long as I keep improving. And here's the workout for today. And then I'll show you what I'm eating. And real quick, I want to mention I came out with a plant based recipe ebook. The link is in the description box, so make sure you check it out. It's delicious, simple, and it'll help keep you fit, healthy all year long. So check that out. So, again, my workout is five sets. I do one set of each of these moves. So, the first move I did is weighted pull ups. And right now, I got a 25 pound weight on there on my legs. Once I beat 15 reps, then I'm going to up the weight. And today I ended up getting 16 reps. So the next time I do this move, which will be in like three or four days, because I do it twice a week, I'll be doing 30 pounds instead of 25 pounds. So I was just pumping the weight. And then at the end, it was getting harder, so I was going slower, and I barely squeaked out 16. It was really tough. I barely got it. And um, after I got the 16, I went for more. I knew I wasn't going to be able to do it, so I did some partials. So it was like 16 and a half. And then I dropped the weight, and I went hard and just did some more partials. So giving it all I have because it's just one set. So then after the set of pull-ups, I went and I did the leg press machine. So on this machine, um, for, the, for any leg moves, I increase the weight after 20 reps instead of 15. So I'm currently doing a certain amount of weight here. And I'm careful. I don't go too far down because I know people can get injured if they go too deep in it. So I just try to get my legs to like a 90 degree, sort of that 90 degree angle and again just pumping it and I do wait about four to five minutes between sets since I'm only doing one set and I'm going super hard and um, I have a little break in between each of these sets next move was bicep curls and I'm just pumping it again the pumping the weight uh, this is the rate the speed that in which I, I move the weight and for this one I'm going for Actually, in my last time I did it, I, I broke the 15 reps in each hand. 
So I just upped the weight to here. Um, so I'm doing 40 pounds in each hand. Last time was 35 pounds. And I knew that I wasn't going to get break 30 reps because I just barely broke it with the 35s. So I'm just struggling here a little bit, using a little bit of my body there at the end. And then once I wasn't able to do more, I just did some partials. Just pump it out, max it out, everything I got there. Then I waited about five minutes, four or five minutes, and I did this uh, leg curl machine. And on the leg curl machine, again, it's a leg move, so I'm going for 20, 20 plus reps before I up the weight. So, and after the leg curl machine, I did a set of uh, calf raises, which I didn't actually record, but that was the fifth and final move that I did, and then of course stretch out and cool down after. So make sure you do a warm up before you attempt you know, any kind of workout, warm up, do the workout, stretch out, cool down, and I uh, don't have to spend too much time in the gym. I mean, I get it done, just five sets, super hard, and uh, that's all it takes. So after this, headed home and ready to get some food. So around 1 p.m. I broke my fast, and I love to start with fruit. And I started with a grapefruit, a sumo citrus, and a banana. Great way to start it out. Nice and easy to digest. Some nice carbohydrates. Then right after that, I had this oatmeal. It was fully loaded. I had blueberries, craisins, cacao powder, had some almond milk, and a handful or so of walnuts as well. So that was the end of my first meal. And then I had one more meal. And the second meal was at 6.30 p.m., had a big green salad, had an apple, a cucumber, and an avocado in it, and I had a bowl of chana masala over rice with some garlic naan. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Hope you have a great day, and we'll be back soon with another video. Bye-bye.